Dear colleagues, I've been on, the, on Maidan very often, and it started as a student's movement because they say we want to go to Europe because we see our future there. And when the police started beating those students very heavily, then their parents came and said, now they beat our children, and that is too much. Then it started becoming a people's revolt. It was a revolt against despotism, against omnipresent corruption, against a political control justice, and against the shameless, very shameless personal game of the political elites. The revolt was an uprising of all citizens. On Badan, they spoke Ukraine, but even more so Russian. Jewish citizens were there, along other minorities. There were smaller Maidans in 50 Ukraine cities, including the East, so it is not a country divided into two. Ukraine is a sovereign state, and it now has a legitimate government. It is not the, the front yard of Russia. It is not the front yard of EU. Whoever thinks along those lines is falling back into the imperial mentality of the 19th century. But we live in the 21st century. There cannot be two different classes of sovereign states in Europe. The peace in Europe cannot be based anymore on the rule of the most powerful who uses military force. It is based on the rule of law, namely public international law. Russia guaranteed Ukraine the integrity of its borders with the Budapest Memorandum. And Russia broke this promise when it annexed the Crimea and thus challenged the order of peace in Europe, which means the order of all of us who are living in peace. When we talk about Ukraine, we also speak about us. The Council of Europe stands for the survival of international law. The Council of Europe is responsible for peace on our continent. I'm very worried to see how the eastern part of Ukraine is systematically being destabilized. This destabilization is being instigated partly by provocations that are coming over the border. And this might be a plan to see that there cannot be elections on the 25th of uh, May. But those elections are crucial for the country. This country needs stability through legitimate elections and a constitution of pluralism. We in the Council of Europe must support this political progress with all our might. We owe that to the idea of Europe and to the citizens of Europe. Thank you.